babes, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. So wow, I feel like I've been gone for a long time. I was on vacation and then you guys, I got so sunburnt on vacation. I used sunscreen three different times, still got sunburnt and it was so bad. I was swollen and puffy and red, peeling, I'm still peeling. It was just bad. If you watched my previous video or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that last week Paul and I went on a vacation to Florida to surprise my family. We surprised my sister and my brother. It was so good. I put a whole vlog together of our trip. It's our previous video, so check it out if you haven't already. I will link it up here and also in the description. And I thought in honor of vacation, I would do a top five must-have on-the-go things and also share like my girls emergency kit that is so helpful it comes in hand every single time whether it's a like day trip or a weekend trip or like a week-long trip or even this trip to Florida I swear I use everything in it all the time I'm so thankful that I have this so I want to share with you guys hopefully you can utilize it in your trips and in your bags so yeah I hope this is really helpful for you guys I thought it'd be a fun video and yeah let's get started I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you do if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel we would love to have you a part and turn on post notifications because normally except for this week I normally upload about four to six days a week so I definitely recommend having a designated travel bag and this one is mine I actually picked it up from TJ Maxx like right before the trip and I love it they had a couple other different prints too but I fell in love with this one and I love that it has structure it's very like durable this thing lasted and held up so well and there's so much room like you can fill this thing up with so many things but still yet keeping organized and like still having structure it's not gonna be all floppy and messy and what really sold me on this bag was this pocket here and not only does it have this pocket but it has has this thing that's attached and it's the same print it's so pretty um, and it has this little pocket here this is where I kept like easy to reach things like our boarding passes and IDs and then you can unzip this and it has another secure area where you can keep like your cards or your passport boarding passes if you don't need to reach them right away and little slots for like I put my chapstick in there you can put pens you can put whatever you need to in here and then put whatever else you want to keep secure in the zipper pouch that was so nice this was like $25 at TJ Maxx I also found them at Marshall's and there's a couple different prints so I just like love this it held up so well prior to this I had like a zip up bag but it was just like flappy had no structure and it was like black on the inside so I couldn't really find anything so this is just like nice because it has that structure and that form and you can easily like pack things in here I'll show you how I pack things in here with these amazing cubes that I have next but yeah definitely a designated sturdy durable travel bag that you can like always count on and has the space that you need is a must-have so I found the cutest packing cubes on Amazon for like 10 bucks there's like 30 different prints and styles but I went with the pink and white stripes this is a seven piece packing cube set and I got it for ten dollars on Amazon I'll link below holy guacamole I'm gonna show these in a different clip because they're kind of hard to show and they're kind of like noisy to like move around but you have three of the zip ups three little pouches and one little like shoe carrying case so these have been amazing I'll show you how I packed them in my bag they were so helpful so convenient can be so organized and they're so cute so here is an Amazon find that has been so helpful and convenient and great on the go it was just around $20 and it is a rechargeable dimmable LED compact light that is huge like this is such a big size it's like the size of my my face almost and it's such a beautiful color it's like Tiffany blue I love it so what's cool about this is you can push it open it clicks open you have regular magnification on one side and seven times the magnification on the other side so you can see like all your pores every eyelash every eyebrow hair like literally everything it's so nice but the best part about this mirror besides the size is that it is touch screen so you can hit the little button here it turns it on one touch again turns it off if you touch it on and then you hold it, it actually makes it brighter. Or if it's on its brightest setting, then it'll make it dimmer. So it's completely adjustable. It goes super low or it goes super bright. So that is so nice on the go. If you're on the plane, at the airport, getting ready, you're at work, you're at school, like whatever it may be. This is so nice on the go because you're going to illuminate your face, get that natural daytime lighting so you can see what you're doing. That way you're not doing your makeup in the dark. So this mirror has been awesome. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It also comes with a protective case, which is awesome. You can just drop it right in here and you don't have to worry about it getting scratched or cracked or anything. It has its own little protective case, which is so nice and like I said it is rechargeable and it also comes with a USB cord 
so you can just plug it right in it's awesome that they provide that you plug it right in and you're good to go all of the time so I highly recommend this it has been amazing for travel on the go at home in my purse wherever I'm going especially on my Florida trip and I definitely recommend it so check it out the link is down below if anyone is interested in shopping I definitely suggest it it's so cute and definitely one of the best compact LED mirrors I have ever used to this day so my next must-have is a power bank charger for your phone and these are awesome I have so many of them these are also from Amazon and I don't think this exact one is still on Amazon I just really like like it because it's pink and white but there is another pink one that I have that is on Amazon so I will link that below if anyone's interested I believe it was around 20 or so dollars and these are really nice because you don't have to worry about finding an outlet or charging your phone when your phone is going low on battery you can just plug it in with a USB cord and you can keep both of your phone and this little power bank right in your purse and charge it or right in your pocket and charge it and it charges quick and it lasts a long time so I really like these they're really handy when you're traveling or on the go because the last thing you want to do is have your battery on like 1% like mine always is and have to worry about finding an outlet or having to like stay at an outlet on the side of the wall at the airport and charge your phone and like watch your phone so that no one takes it so these are just so nice you can keep your phone right with you have your little cord hook it right into your luggage or in your carry-on your purse your pocket your hoodie pocket Paul and I both have these we really like them and they're very handy and they're always coming in use for us so my final must-have is my emergency kit and this is a bag that I keep with me every time that I travel it has everything that I need and I'm gonna share with you guys everything that's in here too I'll go really quick so this video isn't super long but um, for anyone asking, this little container is very, very old. It's actually from Ikea. But what's cool about this one is it has this like wire in here. So it keeps it like really sturdy. It holds its shape. Um, so it closes like this at the top. And then when you open it, it actually like opens up really wide like that. So it has this little pocket here with Velcro um, on the end, which I just keep hair ties and clips and bobby pins in because I always need those. I always want to put my long hair out of my face in the back, so I always need hair ties, so I keep those in there. Ooh, I am a big fan of little cosmetic bags, so I have two of them in here. This one holds panty liners because us girls, we... Uh, we always need the panty liners and the pads and the tampons. I have a little travel size of dry shampoo because dry shampoo is my best friend and I love this Not Your Mother's brand. They have like three of these. I love them. It's the Plump for Joy bodybuilding dry shampoo because sometimes my hair can get so flat so I always keep that with me. Q-tips, bobby pins, and a little Tic Tac container because this is the best way to store them that I found. A little hack there. Little Tic Tac container and then your bobby pins come out. <laughs> I'm entertained by the, like the smallest of things, I swear. Body splash, always. I always love to smell good. I always have to have those in there. A little travel size of deodorant. I can't tell you how many times I have forgotten to put deodorant on or forgot to pack deodorant, so I always keep this with me. I even have some in my car. That's how bad I get sometimes. Blotting sheets, these ones are really nice. I think I found these from TJ Maxx, but there's like a little mirror, and then it has this little thing that actually picks up the little blotting sheet for you. So you can just blot it on your face and then discard it. You don't actually have to like touch it with your fingers kind of bougie it was like two dollars at TJ Maxx I get so oily throughout the day so these are so nice to have for me hand lotion because I always need lotion on my hands I hate the feeling of like dry skin after you wash your hands so I always have to have hand lotion always have to have lip balm too on my lips at all times so aquaphor is like my go-to I love it highly recommend it I am such a germaphobe so I always keep hand sanitizer with me and you guys are just like germs 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 everywhere it grosses me out so I definitely highly recommend always having sanitizer with you no matter where you're at because oh no I'm not getting sick not from your germs and not from your germs either. I make contact wear. Oh, I wish I wasn't, but I am. So I always keep my glasses with me. I keep contact solution as well as a contact case as well as extra contacts and eye drops. I'm always prepared because that's the worst when you're in the middle of like something or you're somewhere and your contacts are bothering you and you just have to get them out. So it's nice that you have the contact solution and contact cases already with you. You can just pop them out and you don't have to worry about having to find the nearest store and like having to buy all of it and then going to the bathroom in that store and taking them out. It's such a pain. So just always keep those with you if you're a contact wearer or a glasses wearer. I also keep a little like cleaning cloth in here too because my glasses get dirty. I keep a little travel size of Excedrin migraine and any kind of like Tylenol or ibuprofen because you never know when 
like a headache's gonna come on or something. This is my favorite gum, so I always give a pack with me. Pure gum, because it doesn't have all the artificial and like nasty ingredients. It's like really good, clean gum. They have so many good flavors. I love it, I highly recommend. I also keep a little tweezer with me. This one's from Philips, and it actually lights up with a little LED mirror. Oh. Not mirror, but light, and actually there's no light because it's dead. This might be kind of gross, but I have a toothbrush in a bag. <laughs> I have a travel toothpaste, and I have these little, like, pluckers in this little travel case that it came, like, in the bag with. That's so nice and handy, because they, otherwise they just, like, get everywhere in your bag, right? So this little thing keeps them all in one little home. <sighs> so I'm, like, prone to headaches sometimes, so I keep this little roller ball that is very tightly secured on here. It's not ever going to leak. This is essential oil for headaches. It's spearmint oil, so I keep this with me on the go. I have so many different essential oils, so I always keep this one in my bag. It's a lifesaver sometimes, let me tell you. So believe it or not, that's everything in this bag. Everything that I always use for every single trip that I reach for, that I need, that I have found myself saying, oh my gosh, like why don't I have this in my bag? It's now in my bag. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the tips from the packing cubes to the bag to the LED compact mirror to the power bank. Oh, and it show I also have sunscreen in here. That is reminding me because I like got so badly sunburned on that trip even when I used sunscreen. So I picked up this one specifically for your face. It's from Pacifica. Um, and I love Pacifica. It's SPF 30. It's a coconut glow. It has like a tint to it. It's so shimmery. It smells so good. I love their packaging. It's so like colorful and pretty and like looks like a sunset. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everything that I can find that I mentioned linked down below. So check it out if you want to shop or if you're interested in anything that I showed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We would love to have you a part and turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my uploads. I upload about four to six days a week. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow in a brand new video. Love ya. Bye.